change. Western Super Mare, or as some say, Western Super Mary. Gem of the Somerset Coast. Star of the Seven Sea, here we are. I've come dressed for both sorts of weather. Let's see what the guidebook has to say about it. Here we are. Really wet days are exceptional and sports can be enjoyed at any season. Let's try the summer sport of looking for a lodging house. Weston is a town of B&B, &B, bed and breakfast. Miles of bay-windowed houses let lodgings. Blenheim, Chatsworth, Claremont, constant hot water. Lyndhurst, Parkhurst, Holloway, no vacancies. Imagine yourself free for the one fortnight in the year. The children are crying, mothers tired after the long journey, fathers a bit irritable. Which shall it be? Homely, home still, sea view, and then have they kept our reservations? Will they remember us from last year? Will we have to get to know new people who are stuck up? Or will it be the same jolly lot we had before? Never mind, we're on holiday. Down here on the front, you can see somebody's been brave enough to have had a swim. But it looks a bit empty down here. Must be time for tea, baked beans, sausages and tomato. Nearly six o'clock. Time to go in. Let's try this one. It's nice to sit down to something you haven't cooked yourself. Give it your uncle son, Makes a bit of a change from home Give cooking, too. I wonder if I ought to have put on a coat. He seems to have done. Well, we don't have to wash up afterwards anyhow, and that's a blessing. Time you kiddies went to bed. Get to sleep quickly now. Your dad and I want to go and look at the lights. Oh yes, come along and see them. They're quite a feature. the sunset. That's the Isle of Steepholm over there. And that's Anchor Head. Weston, good night. And Weston, good morning. Let me read again from the guidebook. Among the town's chief attractions are the miles of sunbathed sands which slope gently down to the sea. Here, the grown-ups can relax happily in deck chairs while the kiddies build sandcastles. That's a guidebook sentence well worth reading twice. Here, the grown-ups can relax happily in deck chairs while the kiddies build sandcastles.
among other juvenile joys, are Weston's famous donkeys and pony carriages. Yes, it's the first time he's ever been on a horse. Well, they aren't horses, actually, are they? They're donkeys. I like to see the kiddies enjoying themselves. I think the donkeys enjoy themselves just as much, don't you? I expect they remember it all the rest of the year. That's if they've got memories. You never know with animals. This is better than making machine tools on the night shift, the works. Makes you feel young again, doesn't it? Hurry up, it's nearly dinner time. We must be off. And watch the floral clock. 50,000 plants, they say, all different colours. And then, if you wait, Mr. Cuckoo will come out of his chalet at half past twelve. Now, Brenda, Mum will look at her watch and you tell me when he comes out. There. Now let's go and find Dad and get some dinner. Well, you've got to find dinner somewhere, haven't you? I mean, they don't allow you back to the hotel till five o'clock, and you've got to eat. It's a long time between breakfast and tea. You can generally find something somewhere, and it's all right so long as it doesn't rain. I like something tasty myself that I can take down to the sands. And after dinner, it's good to have a lie down with your feet up and get a bit of peace. Dear Doreen, we are having quite a nice time here. There's quite a nice beach. I'm learning to swim at last in the swimming pool here, which is quite nice. It holds 1,500 people at once. 
Marilyn still afraid of the water. And Carol sits and shivers. Dad spends all day on the putting course. And Mum sends her love, love glad. Well, just look beyond those dads on the putting course and come and see a bit of old Weston. I mean, look at those Regency houses there on the right and the Georgian terrace right at the back. Can you see it? I want to show you some bits of old Weston that are here when all the holiday people have gone home. For instance, inland. There's the home farm, 17th century on the right, earlier on the left. St. Crispin's College, mostly Victorian, 1487 foundation. And the centre of the old town has got a quality of East Anglia with the brick and the half timber. And I'm sorry to see that at those old houses there, there's the fatal notice board which says there's going to be a supermarket and they'll be pulled down. But you can get the real spirit of the place down by the river, where there's the half-timber house blending in so very well with that manor house of local stone, which I should think from that oriel window must be about 15th century. Quite a good model, isn't it? One of the sites of Western Supermare. Ah, well, it's a curious thing that most of what we like to look at nowadays has to be make-believe. 